Now, here's your pinpoint weather forecast with meteorologist Henry Grom. Well, I mean, it was an absolutely beautiful day across the Middle Ohio Valley with 70s sunshine and still right behind me. Even more sunshine as we look into downtown Parkersburg through the Highmark West Virginia sky cam looking at 72 man that is quite warm yesterday we were sitting in the upper 60s around this time but making it up a little bit higher at this time and still going to continue to climb as we do still have plenty of sunshine around and even areas up towards the north still working on trying to get into the low 70s especially around New Martinsville into McConnellsville but Elizabeth Pomeroy Ravenswood already sitting in the low 70s so like I said, at the top of the hour, this is eventually coming to an end and we're already seeing some of those stray showers popping up, but mainly off towards the west into Athens County. That's starting to move in, but of course not really holding together that well, but we're going to expect our chances of the rain to continue to increase as we look at this developing frontal boundary that's bringing in plenty of scattered showers out into Indiana even down south into Kentucky. But this low off to our east around the mid-Atlantic, we're going to ignore that. Really not going to get anything out of that here into the Mid-Ohio Valley. So 70s already, and you can start to see that cooler air starting to make its way behind that front. That's going to bring the warm weather we're seeing right now to an end, but we're still expecting well above average temperatures throughout the rest of the week. We should be in the 50s. That is not the case, rounding out about 25 degrees above average. So future cast really not holding those showers together. Still can't rule out a stray one through our afternoon and into the evening commute. But what we will see is that ample cloud cover coming back and holding on to that overnight tonight. And then our showers become more widespread going into the morning and into the afternoon. So soggy morning commute tomorrow and at times looking at some of those heavier downpours going through most of Wednesday to create some of that ponding on the roadways to make slick situations on the road. So you'll have to watch out for that. But overall, any flooding out of this, not expected at all since our heavy rain chances are not going to be widespread really just in a few spots but cloud cover continuing into thursday you can already see still continuing on the mild side with 50s by the time we get into the later part of the week so rain totals anywhere from a half inch to an inch in some spots that do pick up more heavier rain than some so you'll have to keep an eye on that but still again not expecting any flooding out of this just some cooler temperatures but when I say cooler temperatures, I mean 70s down into 60s. This is still above average for this time of year, but we'll kind of flip the script a little bit just for Sunday as we track the next system pushing through, bringing in more rain on Saturday and then going into daylight savings time, which don't forget, going to have to spring those clocks forward by an hour, which I know a lot of people aren't a fan of. That's one thing we have to do to welcome in spring Alexa. Yeah, I don't know which one I'm least looking forward to, the 40s or the one less hour of sleep. The good news is at least going into next week, mm -hmm. we do start off sunny just okay. in the 50s. I'll take that. But at least it shows us, I mean, spring is almost here. And our sunsets start getting later. Yes, no, so right now it's at around 620 right. off the top of my head this week. And then it goes. Next week it's now 720. Seven. I love that. The sunrises get a little, get yeah. an hour later just temporarily, so. Eh, that's okay. <laughs> so. That's okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Henry. Coming up after the break, the southern border shape.